There is a story to tell. Para pipa, whoop, para whoop, para. Pado ka tika, 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 toka dota. Pado para, pado para. Pado ka dino, no, 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 whoop, toka do we know? Pada no, no. Blessed be, it is the 1249. I walked on the banks of the Tin Pan Banana Dock and sat down under the huge shade of a Southern Pacific locomotive to look at the sunset over the Box House Hill and cry. Oh. 
Jack Kerouac sat beside me on a busted, rusty iron pole. Companions. We thought the same thoughts of the soul. Bleak and blue and sad-eyed. Surrounded by the gnarled steel roots of trees of machinery. The oily water on the river mirrored the red sky. Sun sank on top of final Frisco peaks. Huh. No fish in that stream. No hermit in those mounts. Just ourselves, roomy-eyed and hungover like old bums on the riverbank, tired and wily. Ooh, look at the sunflower, he said. There was a dead gray shadow against the sky, big as a man, sitting dry on top of a pile of ancient sawdust. I rushed up and chanted. It was my first sunflower. Blanking. Joe's greasy sandwiches, dead baby carriages, black treadless tires, forgotten and unretreaded, the poem of the riverbank, condoms and pots, steel knives, nothing stainless, only the dank front and the razor sharp artifacts passing into the past. And the gray sunflower poised against the sunset, crackly, bleak, and dusty with the smut and smog and smoke of old locomotives in its eye. Corolla of bleary spikes pushed down and broken like a battered crown. Seeds fallen out of its face, soon to be toothless mouth of sunny air. Sun rays obliterated on its hairy head like a dried wire spider web. Leaves stuck out like arms out of the stem. Gestures from the sawdust root. Broke pieces of plaster fallen out of the black twigs. A dead fly in its ear. Unholy, battered old thing, you were my sunflower. Oh, my soul, I loved you then. Oh! Na 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 na. Oh, na 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 na
The grime was no man's grime, but death and human locomotives. All that dress of dust that veil of darkened railroad skin, that smog of cheek, that eyelid of black misery, that sooty hand or phallus or protuberance of artificial, worse than dirt, industrial, modern, all that civilization spotting your Golden crown. And those blear thoughts of death, and dusty, loveless eyes and ends, and withered roots below. In the home pile of sand and sawdust, Robert all of ill skin of machinery, the guts and the innards of the weeping coughing car. The empty, lonely tin can with their rusty tongues, alack. What more could I name? The smoked ashes of some cock cigar? The cunts of wheelbarrows? And the milky breaths of cars? Worn out asses out of chairs and sphincters of dynamos. All these entangled in your mummied roots. And you there, standing before me in the sunset. All your glory and your form. A perfect beauty of a sunflower. A perfect, excellent, lovely sunflower existence. A sweet natural eye to the new hip moon. Woke up alive and excited. Grasping in the sunset shadows, sunrise gold and monthly breeze. Hey! Hey! Ha 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 ha!
flies buzzed round you, innocent of your crime, while you cursed the heavens of the railroad and your flower soul. Poor dead flower, when did you forget you were a flower? When did you look at your skin and decide you were an impotent, dirty old locomotive? The ghost of a locomotive! The specter and shade of a once powerful, mad American locomotive! You were never no locomotive, sunflower. You were a sunflower. And you, locomotive, you are a locomotive, forget me not! Grabbed up the skeleton thick sunflower and stuck it at my side like a scepter. And deliver my sermon to my soul and Jack's soul too and anyone who will listen. We're not our skin of grime. We're not our dread, bleak, dusty, imageless locomotive. We're all beautiful golden sunflowers inside. We're blessed by our own seed and golden, hairy, naked accomplishment bodies growing into mad, black, formal sunflowers in the sunset, spied on by our eyes under the shadow of the mad locomotive, riverbank, sunset, fresco, hilly tin can, evening sit down vision. So, Jack, there she goes. Isn't she beautiful? The SP-1249. Going. Maybe forever. But never. Gone.